Hello, hello, friends. See what we were doing. Last we left off. Oh, I wasn't trying to fast travel. Apologies for being a few minutes late. Um, it has been I wouldn't say a rough week, but I just my I don't know, my um sleep schedule has just been like completely thrown out of whack, and I, I'm really terrible about taking like <laughs> three hour long naps after work, which of course <clears throat> kind of screws up my sleep schedule, or trying to go to sleep later, so yeah, um, I did not take quite as long as a nap after work today, but I was still pretty tired. And then I had to force myself to get out of bed and eat some dinner, because I was actually really hungry. I was kind of just picking for lunch. So, let's... Okay, I realize I have a point, a, a skill point, but I can't spend it because everything costs at least two now. I'm not... I'm at level 11, and I'm not quite leveled enough. I guess I could do the main... well, I'm still not quite leveled enough for either of those. I think, though, I could do the Nora Hunting Grounds. This thing is kind of difficult, though, at a low... At a low level. Um, we'll put those on pause for now. I think what I can do though <clears throat> is these tutorials. Because it's literally just a, like a do, a when, do it whenever you are able or whenever you feel like it or whatever. Um, I think I can do those, and it, apparently it's some easy experience. So I just need to trip one more machine with shock wires. Watchers using precision arrow shots to the eye, and, uh, well, the, the human one might have to wait, but might be able to get a couple of these out of the way. Let's see if we can find a machine to use the trip caster on. I moved my picture back over to the upper right. Because I think I can deal with not seeing how close I am to leveling up, but I think the health and medicine pouch information is probably is probably important. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was not trying to sneeze. <laughs> I was trying not to sneeze right into the mic. I don't think <laughs> I don't think anybody would appreciate that. <laughs> so let's not not do that. Yeah, because this- oh goodness. Things feel like they're further away on this map than maybe they really are. It's hard to- it's hard to understand scale. So, let's uh... Yeah, let's turn around and- where, where's- where's the marker? No, um, this way. <laughs> maybe I can find... <clears throat> maybe I can find a, um... What is it called? Well, there's any machine to, to trip. Trip, yeah, trip! This is really beautiful. Like, like, I thought Skyrim was a... Um, like a highly detailed, beautiful game. It still is, I mean, of course, but I don't know. This one's just got like an extra oops, oops, to it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anywho. 
it's so weird because like I'm I'm still pretty new to this game and I keep defaulting to um, to Skyrim controls because like it's really the controls aren't totally different and like some of them are kind of kind of similar to to the controls in Skyrim but like for example the uh, the draw weapon is one button and then to actually like hold and fire is a different one oh, and then apparently you. you can uh, you can dodge roll and or kind of do like a I'll call it a dodge roll but I don't know if that's actually what it's called you can do that whereas like I think you can actually do a roll in Skyrim but it's, a, it's actually a perk that you have to purchase it doesn't come by default. Oh. How did I miss that? Uh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna tangle with them right at the moment. I think if we head in the opposite direction, we should be, we should be okay. Ouch! What? What? I'm not entirely sure what happened. Did you just say ouch? Because... Uh oh. Uh oh. to be a lot of enemies in the area around this uh, <laughs> this artifact thing that I'm trying to that I'm trying to discover can I change one of these to be a precision arrow or do I have to equip a different weapon Let's uh let's check this out cuz I actually I actually don't know. Sharp shot. Oh. I can always move that move that later, right? The spear's equipped automatically. That's nice. So, yeah, precision arrow. Okay, that's what I want. That's, that's definitely what I want. Alright. Turn around. Right at me too. Now, keep quiet now. Did that count? Is my question. Did that count as? No. What? Why did that not count as a shot to the eye? Does it have to be activated for me to do that? <coughs> Oh, Yo. what was that? You are really disgusting. Get out of here. I wonder if the quest has to be activated for me to... to be able to do that. Um, I don't know. Hey, Roja! Yes, there there are many dino robots. <laughs> the, I guess they all are technically dino robots. Well, actually, there was one that I that I came across. 
guess it I guess it was oh, Saturday now. that looked kind of like a giraffe with like a flying saucer on its head. Um, maybe uh, maybe there's a there's like a picture of it somewhere. Um, there, that one. It like kind of looks like a giraffe with a fly like a flat flying saucer on its head. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess some of them could be modeled after dinosaurs, and some of them, like, could be modeled after, uh, like, regular animals. Or, I, I well, I shouldn't say regular, maybe, but, like, non, non-extinct animals. So, let me get, let me get behind some tall grass. Okay, where... Where? Okay, so I'm like right on top of the thing that I'm looking for. Somewhere. Where's the marker? Oh, well. Where's the marker? Oh, is it this thing? This? No, that was the that was the watcher I killed. I think I'm like right on top of it. It says it's like right there. Where is it? I don't want to like search too openly around the area because I mean, there's definitely creatures about. But like, uh oh, yeah. Sawtooths are definitely a pain in the butt to try and tangle with. Uh oh. This music is like <clears throat> maybe ominous isn't the word, but it's definitely like, hey, watch your surroundings, because you're definitely not alone out here. I don't know. I don't know where this this vessel thing is. Makes it look obvious on the map when it's like not really so obvious as to where it actually is. It would be a lot easier if I just like killed all the, the machines in the area and then kind of went hunting. But I don't know if I really want to do that. That's, that's... Oh! Nope. Nope. That's another watcher. Oh, snap. <laughs> the music is definitely suspenseful. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. What's that? I did not find it yet. I it's very confusing because it's like it says it's over here and like I can't I can't zoom in the map anymore, so it's like okay, let's I don't know what that blue thing is, but it's like okay, we try to go kind of back over yonder to like where it says it is, and even if it looks like I'm standing right on top of it, like I don't I don't see it. And I got confused. I got confused because I thought I thought this this was it because like essentially the thing I'm looking for is is a, like a hunk of metal, um, but that that was not it. It was a it was a watcher that I that I killed. But I mean, like if you look at the map, it looks like I'm literally standing right on top of it. But there's nothing here but this uh, husk of a um, watcher I killed. Or I guess can you technically can you technically kill machines? I don't know if that's a thing. I wonder if um, if there's like an underneath, like a like a secret 
small cave or something. It does, it does the uh oh. Uh -oh. Get behind the wall. I mean luckily they're all on that side. Um Yeah, I don't I mean it's not like it's it's part of a quest or anything, but there there's things get that can be found at these um these these markers that are like collectibles or whatever that you can trade trade in later for, I guess, better supplies or something. So it's like, well, while I'm in the area, let's see if I can <clears throat> see if I can pick up some of these things. Uh, but like, literally looks like I'm standing on top of it and I can't, I can't see it. Or I don't know where it's at. And of course there's like a million machines around. Okay, not a million, there's like five. But the ones that are around are definitely a little bit of pain to tangle with. And I'm finding that unlike Skyrim, when things kind of get in close quarters, uh, just kind of hacking and slashing doesn't, <laughs> doesn't get the job done efficiently. Like, you really, really have to like rely on stealth in this game. To do the most damage up front. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll go find. I'll go find the thing later. Since it's uh oh. Mm -hmm. Saving for the trail. Yeah, let's uh, gather some medicine. So. Oh, that's frustrating. Sorry, you got disconnected. Maybe I can go find some wa watchers and poke their eye out. Yeah, watch. I'll, I'll find it at some point later and be like, Oh my gosh, why didn't I see this before? So obvious. Is that a rat? Oh, so I, like, I guess it was just the sun going down behind the mountains, but, like, I looked, I looked over here and saw, like, a shadow come up behind me, and I was like, oh no, is it a machine? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> don't sneak up on me like that. Yeah, well, and I mean, it might, it might have been me, because, like, I placed the marker there and so maybe maybe like even though i tried to place the marker like right on top of where it was i don't know it, it could have been imperfect so it's it's in the general vicinity somewhere somewhere oh yeah no this this game is beautiful like i i really like open world games like mostly because of the i don't know just like the like it maybe adventure and the the time and the effort that um that like developers put into into the detail because like I, like i feel like for example in skyrim like they probably used a default dungeon map for a lot of the dungeons um because some of them could get like a little repetitive it's like right over the ridge any they're like right there. I'm gonna head in a different direction. Um, so yeah, like the dungeons could get a little repetitive and, and like some of them, oh my gosh, would take like three hours. It'd be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Everything in this game seems like pretty unique so far. Color's changing. Sun's going down. Indeed, sun is going down. And like even just something like putting lilies and like lily pads in the water. So cool. Mm 
And I mean, the, the two games, this game and uh, Skyrim, they're like, if I can do math right, they're six years apart. Because the ri original Skyrim came out in 2011. And then the remastered, I think, came out in 2017, the same year as this game. And I'm sure there's been advances in, you know, um, game graphic technology since then. Alright, I need to find... Find a watcher. Usually, when there's when there's striders around, well, there's also watchers. Generally speaking, helpful. I really don't. I, I really still don't understand, like how just hopping into the hide grass, like, <laughs> can hide you. <laughs> That's a good question. So, like, if I look at, um, if I look at, like, the possible quests and stuff, I'm, I'm only level 11, or, like, I'm, like, halfway between level 11 and 12, and some of the quests have, I don't know if it's, like, a minimum level for you to be to have to take on the quest, or if it's just, like, a recommended level, um, but two of the main quests... Um, I guess recommend level 12, uh, there's a side quest that recommends, or you have to be level 15, is I'm guessing what the red means, um, to take on, and then, uh, I, I was gonna do the, maybe do the hunting grounds, but it's like time trials and stuff, and I don't know, that just sounds kind of stressful right now. Um, so I'm trying to, to complete, like, these little tutorials, which kind of pop up whenever, or, I don't want to say whenever you buy a new weapon, but, like, a new type of weapon, so that you can, like, learn how to use it. So, the one that I'm, uh, trying, well, I'm, I guess there's two, technically, I'm trying to complete first, um, because I only need to trip one more machine with the shock wires in order to complete that one, and then I'm trying to find some watchers, um, so I can kill them with a hit to the eye, which, I don't know why... I feel like I've done this already, like like I've killed watchers with this specific kind of arrow um, by hitting them in the eye, and and like the game hasn't hasn't registered that I've done that. So I don't know if the quest needed to be active for it to count, or if it needs to be like a one hit kill to the eye. Like I don't, I mean it just says kill watchers using precision arrow shots to the eye. So I mean I feel like what I've done already should have counted but it hasn't for some reason. So anyway, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find some more watchers now that I have the tutorial active um, to try to complete that for the, the extra experience because the experience should help me get to that level level 12 so I can do the, the next couple of quests. Again, I don't, like because of the coloring, I don't think I'm like limited from doing them. Uh, but it feel it feels like a like a recommended level kind of thing. Let's see if I can find some tall grass or, or other cover. I actually don't don't <laughs> I don't know where yeah, I am right I now. Oh, I'm like south southwest of where I was. Who's okay, this? not too bad. Alright, definitely some watchers around here. What is this place? It's a strange place for a watchtower. This is a small patch. Of tall grass. <laughs> like, it's like you can barely even move around here in, in this patch. It's so small.
Feels like this requires a certain degree of concentration, especially when they're moving. <laughs> Come on, turn toward me. Well, let me see if that one counted first, actually. Oops, other way. Okay, so it looks like maybe that the que the tutorial quests anyway have to be active in order for the the kills or whatever to count. <laughs> Can it see me? Not much gets past them. Like, literally, I'm hiding in the smallest patch. Okay, never mind, they see me. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Roja. Talk to you later. Hi, Mouse. How are you doing? I, I agree. I think the graphics in this great in this game are incredible. I was talking about about that a couple minutes ago, and just like the level of detail um, that like the developers put in the graphics. Is it stuck? Oh my gosh! It's stuck. I didn't. I was like, why is it still just like hanging out like underneath there? That's weird. It's it looks stuck. And I can't really get a good I can't really get a good shot. Now they're hunting me. Okay, it it moved. That's cool. Oh snap. Ah, it moved! That's so frustrating. Oh, is it running away from me? What? Why is it running? Not exactly how I wanted things to go down, but... I don't know, it depends on who you think it's Roja is. Um, anyway, I killed I killed a couple more. I need to go I need to go loot their bodies. Oh wait, wait, there's another one. Oh, that's a grazer though. They're they're pr pretty I don't call them harmless, but like they don't go after you like some of the other dinos do. I don't think there's any other watchers in the immediate vicinity, so let's pop over here real quick and find, find the, there we go, find the bodies. <laughs> that sounds like a weird, uh, a weird sentence out of context. Right. Well, and I mean, the, the watchers aren't even the worst ones, like they're, they're actually pretty, Mm, tame, maybe not the right, uh, the the right word. Uh, but I mean, in comparison to some of like the big baddies you can come across, uh, like like a sawtooth, like a sawtooth is is a beast of a, a monster to try and tangle with. Uh, so. <laughs> Watchers actually go down in like you can literally one one hit kill them with an arrow if you like shoot them in the eye accurately, but sawtooths definitely take uh, they take some muscle to put them down, so that's fun. So um, 
need to go find a couple more watchers to try and complete this complete this tutorial to level up a little bit. I'm finding that I really have to rely on stealth in this game because like I guess especially starting out like with the low levels and the low skills and stuff it, like I can literally get downed in like two two hits from from a machine. So it's like um let's not do That'll that. Help. So I've mostly been relying on my bow and arrow and like the spear when we get in the close close quarters so far. But I know I have like all these different traps that are supposed to be helpful for like stunning and taking down like the larger machines. So I'm gonna try maybe relying on that a little bit more. So uh, let's wander over this direction too. Well, I know there's a bridge there, but there's also like the machine. This machine yet. Need to find a way to learn. Those those ones, the grazers, like they don't really want to attack you though, like for the most part. Like they'll sense that you're there. Uh oh. Okay, maybe they do want to hurt me. I, I don't know. Or are they just gonna run away? Please just run away. I don't... What are you doing, dude? Okay, I don't know what that was about. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Okay, let's... Let's make sure they're not gonna sneak up on me first. Okay, good. Okay, now let's see if I can go find a couple more watchers. Find some tall grass to get behind first. <laughs> so. Razor. Have you ever played this game before, Mouse? Or is this like the first time you're seeing it? Okay, there's a watcher over in that direction. Let's not get stuck on a rock. It's not good for anybody. But there's also a sawtooth around the corner, which I don't I don't know if I really want to tangle with. that didn't draw anyone else over. <laughs> like that sawtooth I wanted to avoid. Okay, let me check real quick, make sure that counted. Alright, cool. Yes, I just need to do one more. Find one more. Maybe not quite in this area because I do want to avoid that bad boy right there. Oh, 
it looks like all grazers at the moment, so I might need to try another area. this during my last stream, but I, um, like, I'm finding, uh, I'm finding that, that it is pretty challenging to, like, fight some of these, um, some of these machines, but, like, I also appreciate the challenge, because, um, I don't know, like, Skyrim got to a point where, you know, your skills were, like, so... Maybe advanced isn't the right word, but <clears throat> they just got so, so up there that, like, I was just going around, like, you know, killing, killing enemies with, like, one or two arrows, and there wasn't really much of a challenge in it, even on the higher difficulty levels. And, act like, I'm actually finding that it, it is a bit more, a bit more challenging... Uh, now that I'm playing, like, the remastered version, I'm wondering if they adjusted some of the, uh, some of the difficulty levels when they remastered it. And it may be just because, like, I'm at a low level in this game, but I have a feeling that it actually is more to do with, like, the, the in, I guess the intended play style, maybe? Like, you're, you're supposed to be... Can you tell this came from the snow saw? The snow saw. Okay, let's go. Let's go find this washer right here. But yeah, I am I am enjoying the challenge of this of this game. Even though I know I'm like pretty early on. Alright, either one of you can come this way, I don't really care. Watcher in the eye. Just, uh, let's just take them both out for good measure. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh no, are we back in those ruins? Yeah, we are. Can't find this. This stupid ancient vessel thing. Um, let's see. That's cool. Let's see. Okay, I've got one more... One more machine to trip with the tripcaster. Let's see if I can do this. I don't think it... I don't think it matters which type of machine. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely useful on the, the larger machines. Because then you can take them down and stun them, and then, like, whack away at them with your spear, or whatever. Are they inside here? Or are they on the other side? I'm very confused. It looks like they're right in front of me, but I have a feeling that they're like on the other side of this wall or whatever. Yeah, I don't think I can get through that way. But... Oh, 
maybe that's the thing I'm looking for. Oh wait, maybe let me let me tag it real quick actually before I forget where it is. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not a thing I can tag. Maybe you can only tag enemies. Okay, let's um let's figure out our way out of here. hiding in some tall grass. Okay, so the ancient debris is debris. I think the word is actually debris. Oh! I found the thing! No, I didn't. I lied. It's No, that was something else. <laughs> I did not find the ancient vessel that supposedly I'm like standing right on top of. paying attention. <laughs> startling. <laughs> trying to trying to read messages and it's like it just about snuck up on me. Oh snap, there's another one. Although I wonder this might be an interesting opportunity to set up a trap. See if I can remember how to how to set this thing up. I realized I wasn't talking, but it's like, oh man, it takes it takes a little bit of precision, or not precision, um, uh, concentration. I can get out of this. Where's our friend? 
kind of physics does that make or does it how in the world does that physics make sense it somehow blasted me through the wall without the wall actually like crumbling like what in the world it was rude oh don't tell me it sent me back to the rude Ah, not quite enough to level up. Shoot. Oh well, that's okay. Let's see. Can I craft more? I can. That's nice. What is this? Hey Jeff, how are you doing? You just missed me getting bulldozed by a uh, by a big sawtooth. Um, although I like I totally thought I was safe, and somehow he like blasted me through through a wall, which like I was hiding behind the wall, and I don't like the physics of that for this game did not make sense to me. It's like how did you, how in the world did you get me from there? So that was that was a little startling. Good, I had a meet and greet with the dev team from the coding challenge I completed. Oh, awesome! Did you did you get feedback on it? I mean, I'm I'm assuming that you probably did well if they um you know if they brought you in to meet the dev team. That's good news. That's great. I totally forgot today was Thursday. Oh, what's, what's this? Okay. Um. There's got to be a way to override even these things. Yeah, we just don't need help. So I'm still trying to- I'm still trying to get used to the controls on these, because for- for Skyrim, it's like the same button to like- ah! It's the same button to like, load and release arrows. But in this game, it's, it's complete. It's a it's a different button to bring the bring the bow up to shoot, and then you have to like hold and release another button to actually release an arrow, and it's a little confusing. Does that actually help my? Okay, yeah, that gives me a little bit of experience. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, so literally it's, um, hold, whatever this is, L2, to draw your weapon, like, which, which I mean, could be a, could be a bow, it could be, uh, the, like, a, a trip caster or something, and then it's R, sorry, R2 to actually draw an arrow, and then you release R2 to fire, and I was trying to figure out how to, like, cancel an arrow in case I didn't want to use it and I finally figured out you have to just like drop the weapon in order to not to not fire your uh, you know to waste an arrow firing something you didn't mean to where am I at so yeah that was a little confusing because in Skyrim it's I want to say it's just R1 to, to 
draw the draw the bow with the arrow and then you release it to fire. With this it's a little it's a little different. I haven't actually looked into whether you can map like change the controls if you want to. I don't I don't know if most PlayStation games actually let you do that. Um, oh yeah, that definitely seems like there would be a learning curve for the mechanics of the game. Yeah, and like I find myself I keep defaulting to the Skyrim controls because like Skyrim the X button is to like interact or like pick pick things up, whereas in this game X is jump, and the triangle, I think the triangle is like the interact, like to talk to people and and to like gather materials and stuff. It's triangle in this game. Uh, and then circle is this dodge roll move, and uh, in Skyrim, sneaking is you click like the, what is it, the left, uh, what is it called, the, uh, the left deep, not deep pad, the, whatever the circle, the circle thing is that like you move, um, you do that to, to crouch, I think. And in this game, it's square. So I'm definitely having, like, my my muscle memory is so used to the Skyrim controls that like I'm having to kind of like reteach myself how to um, like the controls. Or yeah, I'm having to get used to the controls in this game. So. And also sometimes like I'll intend to like. Uh -oh. Sometimes I'll intend to, like, dodge roll or something out of the way, and we'll end up, like, hitting a completely different button than I intended, because it's just like, my muscle memory goes back to the Skyrim controls. <laughs> it's like, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually, like, shoot my arrow or, like... Here they come. Like sometimes I'll get like like the dodge roll and the um, the sneak mixed up, and so I'll try to I'll intend to dodge roll out of the way and end up like crouching instead, and then the machine will pretty much barrel me over. <laughs> and it's like, uh, no, that was not that was not the intention there. I did not mean to crouch right in front of a charging machine because <laughs> that that's, that was that's not a good idea. That's not not a good idea at all. <laughs> do not, do not crouch in front of a charging machine. <laughs> Should be on a warning. Should be a warning on this game. Do not crouch in front of a charging machine. Let's see if I can override this. Awesome. Now I have a mount. Alright, which direction are we headed? I think I can go ahead and head this way. And ho ho hopefully maybe I'll be level 12 by the time I get there. Killing the and stuff. Ah! Rude? You just damaged the mount that I... Spent so, I spent so much time stalking be able to override. I can't turn around in a tight circle. This is annoying. Where did it go? There it is. Come back! No, if you're gonna fight, let's fight. You're gonna be rude. I'm gonna smash you all to bits. Oh, I forgot that was a perk I, I picked up. Being able to search stuff while on. How rude. And those are definitely. What are they, the scrappers that I don't really want to tangle with? <laughs> now I have to get a new mount. Rude. Dang, they got range. Of course, I can see where I'm going. Maybe they can't hit me here. 
Those are scrappers, I think. I did not, I did not see them in the vicinity. Wait, wait, that's a strider. What is that? That's a scrapper. So, one thing I learned recently is you can, like, tag enemies so that you can, like, keep an eye on where they're at. And I'm like, that sounds useful. What is that? Is that a new... That's interesting, it's a new quest marker that randomly showed up. There's three of them in there, actually. Um, sure, I guess we can wander in there, get away from the machines for a minute. I'll strike you down. Oh, wait, that, <laughs> I did not want to jump into the river, I was trying to find, trying to find the bridge, which is apparently higher up than I thought it was. Apparently they found me. I do actually want to get to the other side, but I'm going to find those over here. There we go. Okay. Like, is it going to let me climb up? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and L uh, Sprint is, like, clicking the L like the left movement wheel and sprint in um, in Skyrim is L2 so it's like yeah just all the controls are definitely this must be mother's crown so I should all right who's got who's got a new quest for me who's got a new quest for me you you're the seeker the one who was an like I haven't talked to anyone in a my minute hunting party. <laughs> my party has you fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There were worse like. things than being killed. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid. My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. I understand your predicament, I think. What was your hunting party doing? After hunting, the proving, we obviously. were so <laughs> angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted the machines killers. left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... This guy looks like a dentist. I couldn't see everything. What's a dentist? He stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, I but my party is... I feel like that's a reference I'm is... supposed to get. Your party or is... Or maybe supposed to know. Gone. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Speak plainly. <laughs> Speak Find plainly, my good friends. Sir. We were so eager to fight the corrupted <laughs> machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on oh. us. <laughs> Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing yeah, to worry about on that end, trust me. Ah, I'll see Dennis. what I can do about your friends. Some things So, I, uh, I have a thing about the name Derek now, like after watching The Good Place. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, but like the name Derek now because of the it's show not. The Good Place, like there's a character there where uh, whenever he's like summoned, right. he's like, I don't know, they just say his name in such a weird way, he's like, it's Derek! And now like whenever I see the name Derek, I'm just like, <gasps> Derek! Curiosity like it just, good. it says, it, it, I say it that way in my mind and I can't like, I can't say the name Derek normally. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here she is. Derek! Like, they made her it sounds speaker. ridiculous. <laughs> Come here, girl. What Let's happened to you, here. Hunter? Are you all right? Oh, I'm grateful <laughs> for this wound. He's it's a, a lesson character. I won't forget. And you should heed it, too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, uh -huh. so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. Threshold of a cauldron? What's a cauldron? A cauldron? What's I don't that? Know what that is. Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Like a magical door? Some say machines what? are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Interesting. Same thing, I suppose. Metal devils have spirits? Whatever they are, they're forbidden. Derek sounds like a name always yelled in exasperation. Yeah, it basically is for me now. <laughs> you mentioned a lesson before. Like, I can't. What did that wound teach you? I almost can't say that As name As I stood normally. before the cauldron, my prey scampered off, and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment... Derek. I was a child and like again, the facial expression has to go with stories it too. <laughs> told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, mm. you see. I barely fought it so off. It sounds and like cauldrons hold reminder. something important that I'm gonna There's have to go a reason the matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. <laughs> we weren't meant to see what's inside. That's great. I love alliteration. I'll never so waver all I can again. Think of is, Damn it, Derek! This scar will see That's to great. that. <laughs> but for a moment, you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Oh, well. Excuse me. I did just notice, like... Where can I find the, this cauldron? Um, My point is, you shouldn't. Like she got hit then across describe the face a place I something. should avoid. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. <laughs> Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. <laughs> Just remember, I told you. you Should have listened to me. Stay away from that place. I can't bear to look at the cliff. Uh. Oh, two more, two more quests. My, oh no, I can't. I don't think I can finish that one at the moment. I'm not at the proper level. Next time. Yes. Uh, let me go see if I can find find this quest giver. <laughs> Big mom energy here. Told you so. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> like. Oh, but but it's she's you. like I told you the to stay away, but seeker. I'm gonna tell you everything about this I've place so that you can go and investigate, spear. so that I can tell you. Some even so. say you're the best. <clears throat> I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere. If you make it and back, I'm not interested. Provided you make I it back, I have more important things to do. Oh, I see. The seeker doesn't have time for us, lesser Nora. I mean, Too you guys did ignore me for years when I was an outcast, so. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or expect me to be danced nice. with demons. But I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meat. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. <laughs> you went to a hunting grounds in Valley Meat. There's a delicious Is candy that in that cookie in jar, but if you go in there, it depends so help on who me. you ask. <laughs> it used to be ours, but Basically. since the red raids ended, the border is a bit unclear. Most Nora don't go there, but the matriarchs won't cast anyone out for heading that way. <laughs> As for the hunting Apparently grounds, it's not against the keeper's the a carja. He can't refuse anyone the trials, but don't come on too strong. Oh wait, I think I have. <laughs> He's so to afraid of the Nora, he might jump out of his skin. <laughs> <laughs> How did you win those sons? I took down machines with three different types of arrows: Ooh. freeze, shock, and fire. And if you fire. aim to take a trial, you'd better come equipped. And fire. But I'm sure a seeker is always prepared, right? I have, I do have fire do arrows, but I, I haven't come across to? freeze or Only shock seekers arrows with red yet. hair and big reputations. And oh, this guy's a Slytherin, around. no doubt. <laughs> You're the first I've seen today. Indeed, he if like he, he's takes literally you to the hunting just challenging me. See if you can earn a he's blazing like, sun. I earned some suns if at the do, hunting grounds. You'll know you beat me. Can you? Consider can it you done. do the same? Can you do better than me? That's that's like the vibe I'm getting from this guy. Can you prove your prove yourself worthy? Brave the guy. Mother's crown could make use of your bow. Indeed. Me? 
Well, you are a brave, aren't you? We need boar skins. <coughs> Our stitcher works his hands raw, repairing cloaks and armor. There's good boar hunting to the east, past the falls. But there's a machine out there now. There's machines everywhere, dude. When I saw it, I dropped the hunt, ran for cover, knocked an arrow. But then I... No shame in living to fight another day. No, it's... Yeah, run away, let somebody else take care loose. of it. That was my luck in the wild. Uh, my mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long he past. He wants me to go out into the wilderness much trust in a ring? and find a After ring. After all that's happened, like, I need luck as much as the tribe it, like, needs those because, skins. That, it would be something I'll like that size. Like, how would if he you expect help, anyone you have my to thanks. be able to find something I'll be at the campfire in the wilderness when you come by at again. that size? Oh, dear. Um... Okay, so I think that's all the quests that I can pick up. Let me let me find that campfire and save real quick because I haven't. I don't think I've saved since I started playing tonight, and that's not usually a good thing. <laughs> like that. So let's let's do a save real quick. <clears throat> Next time, I'll remember what All right. to do. Is this guy a merchant? I think he is. <sighs> well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. <laughs> that reminds me of that guy. Uh, or of the... There's a lady in... Uh, in Riften in Skyrim that's like... If you're not here to spin gold, go away. Like, like she's just in such desperate need of gold. See anything you like? That sure she, you do. she's just so rude that like, if you're not here to spend money, then get gone. Like, all right, rude. All right, let's see if I can find some stuff to sell because my capacity is apparently, um, is apparently full. So hold on, dude. I'm gonna sell you some stuff first, and then we'll see what I can buy. I gotta free up some space for picking up other other goods and materials. So I think I've decided when my next uh, when my credit card statement or whatever rolls over for the next month, uh, one of the first things that I'm investing in, or actually a couple of things, but I'm planning to get a. Um, I think that's everything I can just sell. Um, I'm planning to get a game capture card so I can hook up my PlayStation to my computer and hopefully that will open up some options for for streaming because um, right now I'm only I'm, I'm pretty limited in what I can do like streaming directly from the PlayStation 4 um, so I can I can hook it up to the computer and then use something like uh, like Streamlabs and that should open up some options for me. And then I'm also planning on getting like a green screen to to hang behind me because I realize the the wall is pretty blank and kind of boring. So um, yeah, hopefully maybe putting a putting a green screen back there will make it not so boring. Maybe. Yeah, give me that free sample box. The shard gambler's box. Special modification box. <laughs> I don't think I've run across any enemies that like are that have ice abilities yet. Sounds sounds interesting. Um, is there anything new that I really need? I feel like maybe I can pick this stuff up later. I think I've got what I need for now. I can't tell. Oh, metal burn. Okay, I was like, what is this other thing? And I feel like I'm kind of limited in this game because, like, literally, no matter which corner my my video is in it's like always covering up something so i feel like it would be better like specifically for this game to be able to move um 
move the camera to be like in the middle on one side or the other. Probably the right side. I don't think there's there's as much over there. Oops. I didn't realize it was gonna start back at the beginning. Ignore a survivor heavy. Interesting. Oh, that's like 900 metal shards. I don't know if I wanna I wanna spend that right now. Metal shards aren't rare, but it's like it feels like it takes up time trying to kill the kill the machines to like raid their parts. So, all right, there. let's. Uh, well, that fits you well, yeah, and it'll protect right you from the venom those corrupted machines drip everywhere. Let's cross I'm border. heading for the border. You're a traitor. What do you know of the Karja tribe or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Ooh. Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. So As for Meridian, fancy. it's all they talk about. Already a city know. built atop a mesa with soaring towers, high as mountains. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction. That doesn't sound like the history of the U.S. at all. Well, I'll be off. All of our history I built on slave labor, and then Thanks. eventually a new Me president too. came along and said, yeah, we're not going to do the slavery thing anymore. I wonder where they got that piece of history from. Um, Alright, let, let's see what quests be available. What's this? I think that's. I think I can only have one, one active quest at a time. Unlike. Uh, unlike in Skyrim. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there's that, and that's kind of on the way to this other quest here. Why are they all the way down there? I already, I already did a lot in that direction. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go. Let's go find the missing braves, I guess. What else do I need to know about this? Boar skins. Okay. Well, I can find boar skins on the way. Okay, so that's also- well, that's actually kind of nearby. Um, so yeah, let's go find- let's go find the missing braves, and then we'll work our way up the map. Yeah, alright. Sounds like a plan. Alright, wait, let me save again. Uh, one nice thing about this game is that, like, so, you have to use the campfires to say, oh, are they sick or are they dead? Or are they sleeping? Okay, they look sick. They look sick, unfortunately. And she's back. Oh, where's that called? That's I'll be not. I tell you sorry. To... I, I was trying to figure out what's wrong with you. And she's me. back. Okay, the... I wasn't trying to talk I to you. To but you don't. I wasn't trying to talk to you. Um. Anyway, you have to use the campfires like as save points in this game. Um. You can't just like save anywhere. And they're, in some areas, they're kind of few and far between. But one nice thing is that, like, even if you die, like, if you get killed by a, uh, by a machine, like, you'll start back at the same, like, the last campfire that you saved at. Um, but I don't think you lose your inventory. Like, any inventory you've picked up in, in any of the progress. So, that's pretty nice. At least I think, I think that's the case. I think that's the case. <laughs> Alright, so let's make sure there's not any, uh, scrappers around. I really don't want to tangle with them again. And we'll just follow, follow the quest marker. Oh, great. And then all of a sudden you're praying.
Yeah, it's really weird. They like... They like want you to follow a path instead of just like straight bolting through the, through the landscape. What is that? Stop! I want to know what that is. Nope, 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 stop. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, it's a thing. I was like, what is that? Hearts wins Bahamas. Clears their theory for fighting the Bahamas. Blah blah blah. Weeks of skirmishes. Hearts has announced intentions to holocast an immersive extravaganza highlighting the most explosive moments of robot on robot conflict. However, as of press time, no scheduled date has been set. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Alright, come back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run away! Wait, which direction am I going? Not, not for stretch. I did almost forget that I picked up a perk for being able to collect stuff while on the back of a mount. I think I see now why they want you to follow a path. <laughs> Easier than like running against balls and stuff. Wait, wildlife kills it. Oh, I guess I ran over a fox unintentionally. So. They are like right on the way of where I need to go. So I mean, do we make a run for it? I think so. Let's uh, we'll make a bad guess. Make a bad dash for this. Okay, let me see if you can swim. Oops, I didn't mean to run any of my dudes, sorry. Make a bad dash for it. It's really nice having a having a mount easier to get around. Except when, like, things start attacking you. I mean, that's, that's not very convenient. Alright, uh, am I near- Oh my gosh, where in the world is this path taking me? I know there's sawtooths around here. That I would rather not tangle with. Killers are here. Why are there killers here? Oh, do I keep like bypassing this marker? Oh, kill the sawtooth. Okay, I guess I, I guess I'll have to, uh, have to tangle. All right, let's uh, let's get off and make a plan. Leave my mount a ways away. All right. If I found out more about these machines. I could learn to override them. That probably was not the best idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you can do a silent strike, but I mean, with something like that, it's uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be a one hit kill for sure. You almost dare to do that. Just stay out of their way for now. Well, hiding in the tall grass saved me. I'm like, oh my gosh, how many of them are there? This is ridiculous. How many of them am I supposed to I think to I'm kill? in the clear. For now, maybe. But there's like three of them. This is crazy. This is crazy. 
Just be crazy, y'all. Alright, where's a good place to set up a trap? Alright, let's see. The target will be the closest mistake. Okay. Is this a thing I can do? No. Why can't I do the lure thing? Getting cooler. Dark city. Oops, that's not what I meant. Maybe I should actually use fire arrows on these guys. Oh, uh-oh. I wasn't trying to lure them both over. This is... that's ridiculous. These things are difficult enough as it is. Explosion! Time for stealth when they're like literally on your butt. All right, let's see. Let's see where those sawtooths got to. They definitely dipped out of there in a hurry. Just about my business. Ooh, one of them is like. Actually, they're both pretty low health, probably because of that explosion. Which was what I was aiming for, but I just I actually wasn't sure that I hit it. So it's, I did want the medicinal stuff actually. There we go. Did I not tag him? I thought I did. It must be a pair or something, because they're definitely like wandering together, which is annoying. It's like, I really only want to take on one of you at a time. Like, one of one of you is stressful as, enough as it is. in the ass. <laughs> when cornered by machines, use shock straps, dodge roll, sprint, or your melee attacks to escape. Yeah, I tried all of that and, and they still like bowled me over. Oh, 
How am I still on my mount? Okay, let's whoop, no, no, let's get it down. Okay. Let's craft some more arrows. Oops. Alright. Um yeah, I think we're fine on the rest. Maybe a little more forethought and planning would be good this time around. Maybe. Uh. Also, maybe some assistance. But nope, it's it's just me. It's just me. It's fine. I'll figure it out eventually. Why can't I use the war call? That's a machine I can't override. Until I've lost. I don't know what she said at all. thing I can think to do is to try and like get to an area where they can't get to easily. But like, I also don't want to trap myself because that's not, that's not ideal. <laughs> like next to no damage. So even if even if I can get a clean shot, it's like I'm not doing any damage. And I like it's like I don't know the area either, so it's like I don't even know like where I'm running. Where I'm running to. Like, I don't know any good spots around here! How? I don't know place here, but who won? Brave arrows in these machines. Must have caused a stampede. I have no idea where these sawtooths are. I actually don't even know where the heck I am. Oh gosh. I like ran way the heck away. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can go find this. Um, uh, campfire. Yeah, there it is. <sighs> All right, um, I need a pee break real quick. I will be back in like two minutes.
Okay, I'm back. This cord is so long. Uh, why do these objectives have X's through them? Did I not? Did I miss something? Did I just go straight into killing the sawtooths and, and missed finding the braves and investigating the area? I didn't know I was supposed to supposed to do that. Oh, I guess I actually don't need that at the moment, but that's okay. What's that? So, yeah, like, as soon as I came into the area, it was like, hey, kill the sawtooths. And I guess it literally is like, hey, you gotta kill two of them. Um, let me, uh, look at something real quick. Machine catalog. Yeah. Um, thickness is fire. The blaze storage can canisters underneath them shooting. Would damage everything nearby. Shoot off this component to collect the resources inside. Okay. So yeah, so there's a blaze canister un underneath. I guess I can't I can't see because of my because of my video, but I think that's where it is. Man, these things are pain in the butt. And I gotta kill two of them. All by myself. No help. Just me. On my own. Don't know what I'm doing. Grab this now. I don't know if trying to shoot them from here makes any sense. out that way. I thought they had to go around the long way. Yeah, trying to hide from these things. Like, I really don't understand how crouching in the in the high grass, and the tall grass in this game, just like, they can't see me anymore, I'm hiding! Duh, I'm hiding. <laughs> Get it while I can. I feel like it might almost be easier to wait until daylight to fight these things. Maybe. Cause like, I can't see anything, like I can't see where they are. I can't see where the walls are. Like, I feel like I'm gonna turn a corner and they're just gonna be like, right there. Oh snap, I don't... And then there's watchers I gotta worry about. Like, there's too much going on, dude. Gotta watch my back with everything around here. There, like, I don't see an easy way to separate them. Like, they're literally just like hanging out in the alcove or whatever together. Oh. 
attention. Yeah, look, it's only doing four damage. Like, what is that nonsense? Oh no, no, it didn't trip the one I wanted. It did not trip the one I was aiming for. Uh oh, wait, I'm about to get stuck. I'm about to get stuck. I can't get out. There's so much panic in this game. Oh, hello. I don't really have time to deal with you right now. No, I don't have the time. No, I really don't. It's also not really a good place to hide. Okay, I don't even know where they're at now. Alright, well. How many more? Okay, so I do have a few crafting materials for these, that's fine. I think. That'd be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Right? Do I have to stay in like a certain vicinity to keep them tagged? Is that, is that what's going on? Yeah, just uh, you know, shoot at the glowing eyes. Don't tell me he's gonna go. They're gonna go around the trap. I can't even. Like, where did they go? They, they weren't coming after me. I set up this trap for nothing. I wonder if that's a. Uh, oh, did they kill my mount? Oh, poor guy. Um, I wonder if that could be a strategy of, like, setting up multiple traps and just hoping that they trip on, like, all of them. Like, I just have to remember where I put them so I don't run into them myself, I suppose. annoying that these are these arrows are doing like minimal damage. like they're doing such little damage. Like it's gonna take me a million arrows to try to kill these things. Where are they going? Like all of a sudden you don't want to charge me? Or are they getting wise? They're they're learning. I set up the traps. And they're like, nope, nope. I don't want to go in that direction. I know what that means. See, look, like literally every time they come this way, it's like, nope. Nope, turn around. 
We don't want to do that. It'd be really nice if this didn't take a million arrows to take them down. Like, there's got to be a better strategy. But I also, like, don't want to just straight up get bulldozed by them again, so... I don't see anything specific to aim for. Another canister explosion would sure be helpful. Why are they not coming this direction? I don't understand. Am I, like, on the border of their... Ooh, did I get one? I wonder if I'm, like, on the border of their, um... Ooh, I got one. Of their, like, prowling grounds or whatever. So now, I have to get, well, not that I want to get in there, but I do want to try to be able to lure, lure it out. It's like right there. I gotta remember where my trap is. I've, like, already forgotten. Ooh, it's, like, right there! Woohoo! Level up! Is it coming after me or not? I can't tell. What are you doing? No, well, they're still surprised. You asshole. Now I'm gonna have to kill them both again. This is so frustrating. Like there's supposed to be like a canister or something on their on their like underside. They're supposed to be able to aim for, to like, cause more damage. And it says they have a weakness to fire. But like, do they really? Because my arrows were doing like 9 damage and that was it. Like, what is this bullshit? Nah, where are my, where are my sawtooths? And this terrain is like so confusing that like I don't even know keep that for later where to run to when I get into trouble Wait, is that my strider buddy? what I wanted. No, actually, yes, what I wanted. Alright, come on. Come on, then. I can't even see, like, what I'm thinking at right now. No, don't go around. Completely missed the trap. They're getting smart. Great for them, bad for me. Well and quiet does it.
time I was trying to hide behind a wall. Did not work out so well. They they just like somehow bashed through the wall. And we're like, nope, can't hide there. We can see you. Or not even that they could see me, but like hiding behind the wall apparently just didn't do didn't do anything. Box them in with traps. I don't think that one's set. Right there. Why did that? No. Oh, I think I can only have two set at a time. Shoot. Okay. I think that's how that works. Can't just go and set up unlimited traps. Come on. Why does this ward thing not work? I have the perk unlocked. Running in a straight line is not a good idea with these guys. <laughs> like, you gotta do the zigzaggy. Like, the zigzag. Gotta do the zigzag. Gotta do the zigzag. They are fast. And they literally just don't care. Like, they will bowl you over. Ah! I can only run so fast! This is crazy! Holy crap! I think I just shot myself. I think I just shot myself. I don't... I don't know where they got to. This is nerve-wracking. Can they see me? Are they still following me? I don't know what's going on. Probably. It's very likely. Can I take out these uh, these watchers so they're not in the way? Yeah, they definitely killed my mount. Sure. Keep pressing the wrong button. Alright, where's the other one? Too. Oh, it's like on the other side. Okay. Music sounds a little ominous. been a good spot had that watcher not been there. Get out of 
out of here. Alright, back to... Uh, back to the mission. Before I lose where they are. I'm already lost anyway, I don't know where Is that a chicken? Oh, and there's a trap that I placed. I, can I get them to come over this way? Is that thing I can do? have some kind of like learning algorithm going on because every time I try to lead them to where a trap is they don't follow me like like hey yep come this way come fall over my trap look and he like stops and goes the other direction It's like they know. What is that nonsense? Keep quiet now. Um. Yeah, it's like I don't know what to do if they're not gonna. If they're not gonna come for my trap. healing themselves? Like, what is this nonsense? Ah! Ah! Oh, that, I guess that shot didn't stop them. They ran right over it. I gotta remember where my other one is. Have one. Oh, it's back here. Okay, got it. remember which character had that uh, had that tagline. I'm pretty sure it's Jimmy Neutron, if I'm remembering correctly. It was either it was either got a jet or got a fly or something along those lines. Got a fly. Okay, they're heading back. I hate that I have to use like a million of these traps, but it's like, I don't know, I don't know exactly what else to do. If I don't, literally just bowl me over. Oh, 
Ooh, they're both pretty low on health though, so I mean... That's a good thing, I think. I missed. Come on. And I don't know how they're getting that low on health, because I mean, certainly my arrows aren't doing a ton of damage. run and press like the d-pad down with the same hand like that's not that's not ideal i don't know who thought that was a good idea Do I have any health potion materials? Health boost. Oh, I do. I, some health. I can only make like one. That's not helpful. Maybe I should have bought some health potions when I was talking to the the merchant. Cause I only have three. And not very many. Uh, what are they called? The um, uh, the medicine pouch. But those aren't gonna last very long, and they don't heal very much. Ooh, is this a uh, maybe a decent vantage point? Not really, because I can't I can't see anything. This is ridiculous. Like, um... Like, I swear, this is taking me like a couple of hundred arrows to try to defeat these things. And several deaths. Like, a handful of deaths. Now watch, he's gonna like leap right over it. Oh no. I wonder if they're retreating more because they're injured. They're almost there. Woohoo! One down. a hot minute, but I did it! Now let me loot their bodies! Okay, now, <laughs> let's see if we can find the, the hunters or whatever that are hiding. Are they around? Explore the ruin, okay. Ooh, what's that? It first amend amendment virtual? What? Um editorial does the first amendment apply to virtual spaces? It's an interesting it's an interesting question. 
say, last week in one of the biggest synchronized police police actions in U.S. history, the homes of more than 700 private citizens were raided and more than 500 arrests were made for the crime of inciting criminal behavior using private informational processes. If you've been paying attention over the past nine years, you'll know how to parse the above legal word, suit. Those raided are accused of participating in virtual anti-corporate sovereignty rally. Oh my gosh, this sounds terribly familiar to what's going on in the U.S. right now, in a way. Uh, this time at the Holonet headquarters of Sterling Malkit. Watching 500 people, many of them blood-led and terrified, hauled from their homes by police SWAT bots, is, understandably and rightfully, horrifying to a lot of people. But this is nothing new. As far back as 2054, <laughs> when the first major arrest of virtual protesters occurred over the occupation of Metallurgic International's Holographic Customer Service Center, pundits and courts have engaged in the debate over whether or not the internet constitutes a public space and is therefore legally required to oblige peaceable assembly. Legislation hasn't kept up with the advances of the Holonet, and, that, and that's no accident. It serves the interests of Sterling Malkit and Metallurgic and their corporate ilk to treat the Holoscape not as a public space, but in the world, words of Metallurgic, backed Senator Gerard O'Neill, an array of privately owned information processes. The same O'Neill data corrupted. That sounds startling. Like, not something you'd want your uh, public overlords to, to do. Okay, um, I guess continue to explore the ruins. I need to find these hunters and like where they're hiding. What's, oh, what's this? <gasps> You're that oh. brave who was outcast. Hi there. What are you doing here? I was, yes. Your friend Den told me to come anymore. find you. Why are you up there? The sawtooth ripped hiding, our packs obviously. from us. Uh, uh, me. Um, us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Uh, now them? we can get there home. There were two of them, mind you. One thing. You won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? I didn't. At least, not your friend. Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. Understood, I suppose. Alright. Yeah, let's go... Go check in with Den. See if we get we can get like a word. I feel pretty proud of myself. I took out two soft tooth. It took a hot minute, lots of supplies, and a few deaths, but I did it. Uh, see if there's a like a bridge or something. Swimming is definitely much slower than, than running. Mm. It's not a bridge, but it's a shallow area, so I think it, I guess it's fine. What there? Why did we just try to dive head first into... Like, it wasn't that deep. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> Definitely gotta. I feel like I gotta keep my medicine pouch full all the time because, like, and it's, one of these. it's easy to use, but like, it doesn't save full for long. What is that? Oh, it's a different ingredient. Got it. Okay. Um. Yep. All right. Well, we'll just keep. Following the path, I suppose. I was like, what's the little check mark that came up? Oh, okay, it just means like you're done with the quest, go check in with the quest giver. Look, like, that's fine. Can't be too prepared. Are they 
creatures that I killed or like other people killed and innocent like loot, loot their bodies for materials? Oh, wait, I leveled up. And apparently I got some new modifications, I guess? Okay. Ooh, treasure boxes. Oh no, I didn't want to drop it. Ooh, outfit. Outfit leaf. Ooh, free sample box. Yes, I will take all the things. Um, and then I can choose another skill. Let's see. Let's try it. Precision plus combat override increases the time the machine will remain over by 50%. Doubles the capacity of the medicine pouch. Mount repair. Why that port the repair mount when I can just override a new one? Um, let's do this expert carpenter skill. I mean, obviously, I want all the skills eventually, but I mean, that's gonna take a while to level them up. Dismount strike. Oh. That's interesting. Mount repair plus. Some of these are really interesting. Interesting parts. Alright. Let's... Where's, where's the marker? Okay. I'm so directionally challenged, y'all. Like, even even with a map and, like, with game radar, I, I still have a hard time, like, figuring out where I need to go. Well, also, I'm, like, not super familiar with the game, like I'm still learning where things are in the controls and stuff, so... I don't like killing wildlife, y'all, but apparently they, like, you need them for materials in this game, so... Unfortunately, you kind of have to kill them sometimes. Also for like food and stuff, I guess. All right, let's find Den. I think it's his name. And also probably save my game because that's a good idea. I'm still alive. Curiosity is the dream. No. Hello. Is it you? I found yeah. your friends. You know where? They'll be back shortly. Oh, thank you. I found your friends, you know thank where. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a relief. You won't tell anyone, will you? Relax. The matriarchs are up singing the hymn of atonement. I think you're safe. You're right. The hymn atones for all of us. Thank you. That's not what I meant, but okay. Should have got out of there quick. We will have to trust in them. All right. I guess I got some some experience or something from that quest. Quest? Quest? One single quest? Okay, yeah, so I got some experience and a remarkable reward box, apparently. Yeah. Okay, stuff is useful. Other resources did I pick up? <clears throat> a raccoon bone. I don't have a whole lot of space left. I've got like three. Three spots. I don't think I can extend. I don't think I can increase the carrying capacity for a lot of things right now. Oh, well, let's go hunt some boar. I can extend. 
and the resources and wild. Boar bone, apparently. I need some boar pelts or, or whatever anyway for another quest so let's let's go hunt some boar yeah let me find the exit again is there anything else I'm supposed to do while I'm here oh let me let me maybe buy a couple of potions from the merchant some things are beyond our train if I can remember who he is that's still over here is this guy? Did he move? Oh, he's over here. Hi, I need some help. <sighs> well, I hope you see anything you like. Sure. <laughs> Oops. Do you want shards that you want? So silly. Maybe I can just craft my own. Well, I'll be off. Thanks. Me. Let me, let me see what the ingredients I need are. Fatty meat. And I can't actually see. <laughs> Rich meat, maybe? Rich meat, maybe? Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I gotta go hunt some animals. <laughs> Basically, because those- they have the materials required for- Uh, for crafting potions. Specifically health potions. I don't really know if boar have a specific place they like to hang out. Turkey, turkey! Oh, there's a boar. I mean, maybe it's a better idea to, like, Silently hunt these things? I don't know. Ah, maybe the quick strike is better. Ooh, another bird. Sorry, my guy. <coughs> Okay, so I've got the boar skin, so I just need to go find find this dude's ring. And, yep, it's actually not that far away, so that's cool. Whoops! Let's not tumble off the cliff. That's probably not a great idea. I guess we'll just head in a... Ooh! That's a, that's a little bit of a steep drop there. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just head in a north... Ish. These are helpful. North, better though. Wordly direction. What's that? The striders aren't super dangerous. Anything else around? Turkey. Turkey, turkey. Turkey. Don't mind me. Just gonna. I know where I am. Just gonna run on by. It's fine. Don't be alarmed. It's too late. They're alarmed. Campfire. What campfire? Oh, it's like literally right behind me? Or in front of me? Thanks, my dude. Why you gotta be. I don't like that. Like, I'm honestly not trying to hurt you. Why are you being rude? Oh shit, that's a saw tooth. No wonder why that one's being rude. I don't think they like water though. 
Oh, that might have been the sawtooth the dude ran away from, actually. That would make a lot of sense. Because I think he did tell me, he's like, um, yeah, I was out hunting or whatever. And then you see there was this, uh, there was a sawtooth I was scared for my life for. So, I'm gonna bounce. <laughs> I'm gonna bolt. <laughs> But, like, if you could go out there and retrieve my, my very precious family heirloom thing, I would much appreciate it. So I need to go in a southwest-ish direction. Why is there not a marker? You know I'm directionally challenged. So... Uh... Where did... I don't... Where did the sawtooth go? They don't... No, those things don't just disappear, you know. They don't. Like, they... Here we go again. They're pretty territorial. Diving in the shallow end. Didn't you ever read the signs at the pool that would tell you that's not a good idea? We don't want you to have a neck or a spinal cord injury. Come on now. I know you a smart girl. Please will keep. Where is this darn warp? Like, I don't understand the markers in this game. Like, it's literally leading me to like patches of thin air. Oh, okay, look, okay. There's the bull body. I got it. Sitting cut in his throat. Let's see here. Yeah, that would be Tim's ring. Okay. Is that all I have to do for this quest? I just gotta take the dude back his ring? So you're gonna have to have me go off on some other wild boar chase? At least I didn't have to kill another sawtooth, I suppose. Um, let's go around the grazers. They're generally pretty docile, but I don't really want to take a chance and spook them unintentionally. Uh -oh. Ah! Moved right the last second. I will take your loot. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, I don't think this is the most efficient way up. Oh, but look! I can get up that way, so that's nice. Somebody thought of this. Uh, apparently I can't get in that way, though. That's only a way out. Not necessarily a way in. Um, okay, that's fine. I guess we can get down that way. That's alright, we'll work our way over. Ooh, the girl's out balance. I think I can do that. It's an obstacle course! Oh, okay. <laughs> It. I'm gonna die. Oops. Apparently I wasn't supposed to jump. And I jumped. Can I not get up that way? Alright, I guess I'll... I failed the obstacle course. Am I stuck? Like, I don't understand. Can I get out from the river, please? I just want to 
wanna I just wanna walk on dry land because it's faster, thanks. Yeah, swimming swimming in this game is rather inefficient. Rather rather inefficient. Get in this way? Like, where is it taking me? Okay, so we're, we're close. Alright, I just gotta actually get into the settlement, I think. Ooh, campfire. First comes cold. Save point! And snowfall. Save point! This doesn't look like the same, the same way I came in last time. Am I- oh, I'm like, up above where I'm supposed to be. Y'all, I'm, I'm directionally challenged. This is... It doesn't help that the, like, the markers on the map just continue to shift. Like, it's like, hey, go here! Actually, no, go here! Okay, now go here! And then it's like, well, wait a minute, where actually am I supposed to be going? Is this another way in? Like, this looks like a different bridge. Who are you? You don't want to talk? Okay. Is this not... Is this a different... Is he, like... Was he hanging around my campfire and I just didn't see him? Oh, actually, yeah, matter of fact, there he is. Alright. That's not where I originally talked to him. Good though. hunting, I hope. I've brought you the boar skins and your lucky ring, too. All. all mother be praised. And you, uh, of course. Oh, and you, of where course. Where did you yeah, find it? Actually Halfway down a boar's gullet. Not so lucky for the boar. I. I think I'll wear it around my neck from now on. That doesn't seem like a like much of a better option, but alright. Thank you for all you did. Whatever works for you, you dude. Share the gifts oh, of a me. true Sorry. Nora Brave. Ooh, I got a generous reward box. Let's see what was in the box. Not a lot, but okay, I'll take it. What other quests are on the list here? Okay, so I could do either one of those. Uh, oh, let's, uh, yeah, let's maybe go check out this cauldron. Let's go check out the cauldron. I don't know what's in a cauldron, but it sounds interesting. Are there any striders around that I can override for a ride? It's an awful long way to run. Hardy little plant. He'll help. There, uh, aha. It's not a. <laughs> it's, not, it's a pretty precarious bridge, but. It'll work, I suppose. Uh, what are those? Those are strappers. <laughs> yeah. Not quite as fearsome as a sawtooth, but still would rather avoid those, I think. How are we on supplies and stuff? Oh, oh upgrade. Okay. Um, oh, let me actually see if I have enough to increase my carrying capacity. Yay! Yeah, let's increase the resources. Oh! Let's, let's upgrade it again! <laughs> okay, so that's like the end of those upgrades. That's cool. Yeah, let's increase, increase all the carrying capacity. No more available. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. It's weird that it wouldn't be grayed out if there were no more upgrades available. I can carry so much, so many things now. Oh, here's that thing that I found earlier. Yeah, sure, why not?
like zip lining, but it's a little more dangerous. Bunch of grazers, one watcher, maybe more. I think maybe if we go around this way, we can prob probably avoid them. I think that would be a little bit far. Okay. Never know when I might need these. I don't think I've encountered one of these before. Drill horns. Destroying these components will disable the drill horn attacks. Chill water can be looted. Uh, shooting a canister with a freeze arrow with a freeze arrow will trigger an explosion, freezing anything in the area. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, free. I don't think freeze arrow is something that I've discovered yet. I wonder if that takes a specific, um, a specific, what am I, what am I trying to say, um, weapon? Like, I need a specific weapon? Metal bolts, precision arrow, yeah, it looks like fire arrows is the only thing that I've encountered. So let's pass by those those guys for now. I imagine it'll take a little bit of time to defeat them without the proper materials. Sounds like they're trying to sneak up on me. I don't like that. I don't like these things sneaking up on me. Can I override this fella? It feels like I'm like sticking my spear into his butt. Like change of plan. Like I'm just gonna stick you a little bit. It's it's fine. Just gonna be a little sick then it's over. Got it. Alright, where, where are we? Hold on, I'm, I overshot. Too busy trying to get away from angry machines. You there! Hello! I hope you've come to help, because we're getting slaughtered out here. Um, what? Do you... can I talk to you? Thank the sun. You look like a fighter and that's just what we need. My bungrain boss gave us the wrong crate of ammo. Oh. It was marked ammunition, but stuffed with Ridgewood. Without that ammo, we're struggling to fend off watchers. And worse. I'll do what I can that's to help. That's so good. Glad to hear it. We need all the... Alarms! Long leg approaching! That's a long leg. Oh. They call those. Oh, oh! That one looks like a bird. Two arms, two arms. Bad. All right. So I guess we gotta. All right.
Yeah, hand to hand combat is not the way to go with this game. Like, really not. At least not without some better armor and stuff. Like, I'm still relatively low level in this situation. This bird thing is rude. Casing a concussion sack, destroying this component disables ranged sonic attacks and triggers a compressed air explosion, inflicting tear damage on anything in the area. Okay, so that's the thing to aim for. Alarm signal antenna destroying this component disa disables the ability to call in reinforcements. That probably needs to be the first thing to go. And then the power cell, that's also okay. So this actually has a lot of weak points. I just have to be able to actually. Like, destroy them. Uh oh. Damn, I'm finna die. I don't have any. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't have any uh, health potions left. So, that's fine. dudes are assholes. Hopefully I just saved the game recently. I feel like I did right before I talked to those dudes. Wait, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Oh, wait, what? Did it, like, restart me to be in the middle of the battle? Oh, what kind of shit is that? I don't think it's gonna let me stay in like, the battle. Oh. I guess it did. I guess. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Save save your or save at campfire campfires frequently. That's not a bad idea. Except when you're in the middle of battle or something that's the same thing. There's not really a great place with a little vantage point around here that I can see. Why can't 
haven't hit anything important in this bird. Like, it, it's like literally aimed for like these areas. And I can't hit any of them. <laughs> also, trying to heal on the go. Like, literally, when you're running from stuff, is like damn near impossible. Like, I'm trying to avoid getting stomped on by the thing, but I'm also trying to heal my health, and like, none of which is working very well. Like, none of this is working. Like, they think level 12 is an appropriate time to take on, to take on this quest? That's It's like, I'm, I'm aiming for the vulnerable part, why... Why is it, like, not doing any damage? Like, this is like a monster. Yeah, restore your health with medicine that you have in your medicine pack until you run out. Maybe I'm just getting tired, but I'm, I'm a little cranky. Like, maybe I, I really shouldn't have run across this. Just the the quest. It's kill the machines before they overrun the caravan. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Wait, come back! I wasn't done with you. I wasn't done with you. Stop moving so fast.
Like, literally the only time when close combat makes sense is when they're like maybe two, two hits away from, from being dead. Because other than that, like, they can basically toss you around like ragdoll. And I'm, I'm gonna die. But... What? That's not what I was trying to do at all. Hitting the wrong the wrong things by accident. Come back! Quit making me waste my arrows. Tries, but I think handy. I think maybe we got him. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wander around, gather some ingredients. Don't mind me. You know, not like we all almost died or anything. It's also telling me that there's Can't more, more enemies around. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, let's do the quick save. Oh. Can have a lot of useful items. Alright, let's go talk to the dude. Did we did we succeed or did everybody die? I've seen machine hunters before, but none like you, Outlander. You saved our asses. <laughs> Boss! I love how he said asses, gone. but like the subtitle what? said rumps. That's impossible. <laughs> unless... Unless Dereed took them. Took, took when what? the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. Mm -hmm. He couldn't have gotten far. Go together. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get this him for you. True. But this time, I get paid. Can't argue with that. Bring those song cores back and you'll get a share. What are song cores? Alright, where did where did this guy run off to? Wait, is he not? Is he like in the area? That's what it looked like. It, it looked like it didn't look like I had to go go anywhere to find him. Need them soon enough. Unless it's like, no, we're not gonna tell you where it is where he is. You have to actually go find him. materials. Although maybe I actually should check on my crafting supplies. I said I'm running low on wire. Uh, okay, I think I'm okay on those for now. Oh, also my my carrying capacity is like far increased, so I don't have to worry about that stuff. I still don't really understand. 
understand, like, it's like, oh, go find this dude, but it's like, I mean, I, where, I guess, like, where is he supposed to be? I keep saying go here, but it's like, it, I mean, they said he would run off, like, or he ran off, like, I don't imagine he would be, like, super nearby the camp. Like, that seems silly. Don't want to push my luck, stranger. But Dorit gets further away every second. I mean, I guess, but like... Which... which direction? I don't know. Maybe... maybe I'll go look at... at the cauldron place first. What's that? Maybe I'll go check this place out first. And then we'll figure out where your... where your dude lands. Anything I can make modifications to? Oops, wait. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of carrying capacity at the moment. direction are we headed? I'm, I'm so directionally challenged. I think, okay, so north, northwest, so toward that thing. Did I mark the quest? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Um, this one, yeah. Follow that trail! What trail? The trail that we blaze! That trail that we blaze! I don't think my sister's watching, but if she if she was, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure she would know the reference. <laughs> it's a great movie. This must be the cauldron Drow was talking about. Yep. There's gotta be a way in, somehow. Can I just sneak around me? Is that that? Unidentified signal. Oh snap. Oh snap. Guarding this cauldron. I would have thought something a little more powerful. Uh, so scrapper. Yeah, I don't that. It seems to be minding its own business. I'll mind my own, own business as well. Let's go investigate this cauldron, shall we? See what's, Quite what's a door. In here. But how to open it? Oh, did that say? Oh, <laughs> override it. Apparently, that's an option. Call the cauldron. I feel like that might be one of the floor, like a floor that you shouldn't walk directly across. Uh oh. Oh, what? What? What is this nonsense? It's so deep. What's going on here? What's this? Oh, okay, got it. I don't actually know which direction I'm supposed to go. I don't even know which direction I came from, to be honest. Okay, it's pro 
from. That's probably where I dropped down from. Okay. It's not really. The metal, the light. It's like this entire place is part of some huge machine. Yeah, no kidding. Made it. This place is crazy. Oh shit, I fell. I. That's a long way down. I did not see that drop there. Oops. <laughs> let's, let's maybe not do that again. <laughs> I did not realize there was a very small skinny bridge that I was supposed to cross. I was only like half paying attention to like where I was going. Okay, sorry. Let's let's try that again without without dropping. Okay. Let's, uh, let's pay more attention. To <laughs> okay. So the only thing of interest down here was this supply crate over here. Okay. At least I think. Yeah, I think that's the only thing of interest at the moment. Isn't creepy at all. Okay. Okay. I was like, do I have to jump on it, or does she know to to like precariously walk across the small that footbridge? Looks like a triangular pipe. Damaging event creates floor. a stealth area. Okay. Oh, there's machines inside here. Oh goodness. Okay. I think that's how that works. What's that? Oh, it's another death thing. Those things are moving components in the air. Turn around. Come on. I guess you can. I guess you can hit them in the eye from behind. A little strange and counterintuitive. Oh, that's a mess. Uh oh. Someone else coming this way. Apparently, um, mushrooms found in a random machine cave are medicinal. Does that make sense? Oh, it's a dead watcher. Why is it so hard to hit a rat? Tough, but I'm used to it. Tiny meat. Tiny meat. Okay, come on. Place, how deep does this place go? Stocking up? Yep, definitely need those. I feel like I'm never quite full on on my medicine pouch. 
like, I'm always using it, which, I mean, I guess is a good thing, but at the same time, it's like, I never have enough when I need it. Oh, there's a more bit. Okay. I don't think there's any imminent threats at the moment. I'm sorry, little rat. I know you're just trying good to live your meat. life. Hopefully it wasn't ratatouille. Is this a door? Uh, is this not? It's not where I'm supposed to be. I totally missed that those were stairs. Man, I was about to backtrack and, and everything. Um. Oh, it's so dark. I can't see anything. Okay, nope. Lighting in this stream. This place is strange. Oh, it's a flashlight. Okay. That thing made the gap. What does it do? Oh, it's oh, it's over there. I see it. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's not drop down. I don't really want to climb back to get to where I am again. confusing when everything pretty much looks the same. Uh, maybe it's this way? Maybe this isn't the same direction I just came from. Like this. Human weight, okay. It looks Sounds like, like this flying machine has moved components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. Indeed. I mean, somebody must be up, or something must be operating this place, right? I mean, it's, uh, these machines are flying around or whatever. I feel like there's a secret here. up and grab on is that yeah that, that seems like a thing I'm just might regret this hold on <laughs> true these shoes are built in these places but why why who oh very important question I feel like if I were to drop off at any point along the way, uh, I would probably die. Am I 
goodness, how far are we going? I've gone as far as this thing will take me. Okay. Okay, it wasn't too far of a drop, so I guess, I guess that's good. But at the same time, there was a supply crate over there. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure I can get to it. This literally just drops me into a gap. See if I can figure out how to get through the cauldron before I get too tired and want to call it a night. So it didn't look like I could jump from there. Oh crap, that's not quite exactly what I wanted to do.
I'll tuck that away. the whole trip over here was a hint in like hey these things can support human weight hint hint that will help you on the rest of your journey through this place looking for me. It's searching. Alright, maybe we can get back there in a minute. Ooh, I can go up and raid. Raid this watcher's body. Sweet! Lightning gun. Oh, that's fun. Destroying power generator. Okay, so there's a few things to aim for. I really excited. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's not quite exactly what I want to do. I was just trying to exit out the menu. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just keep moving forward. That's, that's fine, right? Uh, that's what we want to do. That was worth it. I 
don't know what the best course of action for destroying one of those things is going to be. Definitely not direct combat. That's definitely Here not. They come. Not what I want to do. Maybe a fire arrow. I destroyed something on it. Keep quiet now. So it's not so anything or whatever. Go that way. No one should be in for uh no it's run away! I don't want to be like right next to the thing because uh, I imagine it hurts. Definitely not a thing you want to try to to defeat in close combat. Even if you have to do if you do have to use a hundred arrows to you know to take care of it. Oops, I totally fell off. I don't really need to. I took out its like you know, shock of it or whatever. Nope. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Um, 
little bit of a doozy. Alright, let me go see if I can... Huh, there's a ramp. I'm over here trying to do all this jumping. Uh, those look like some climbable objects. Bodies real quick. It's like I want to explore where I'm not supposed to go or like the extra areas first. Before I, I go to where I need to move on to. But sometimes there's a. Uh, no going back. Man, this place is large. Had I known this was it was gonna be this extensive, I probably would have saved outside done this maybe on Saturday. Because I'm definitely tired. I have work tomorrow. But I'm already like halfway through the cave and I doubt there's a there's a campfire <laughs> in here where I can save. Oh, what is that? That looks like a like a core. Yeah, of some kind. That's crazy. Alright, well let's just uh let's just keep moving forward then I suppose. Might as well. we check for threats so that I'm not walking into something that I'm not ready for. That often happens anyway, even when I do check for threats. Following the following the markers, I guess. Almost to the heart. 
at all. It's not like it can probably sense that I'm here or anything. You know. And I think when we say almost to the heart, we really mean there's probably another like 30 minutes of exploration before we actually get anywhere. may or may not be enemies down here that I need to take care of. Alright, how do I... Excuse me. Get up there. That way? behind me of interest. <laughs> this looks like a like some kind of machine. Like a guardian or a ship or something. I don't know. Anyway. Onward. Onward we go. Maybe we were a little bit closer than I thought. This is how machines are made. Huh. Woven out of light. Woven out of light? There are signals coming from all over the place. What? Fire bellow back. find out about our new beastie. Alright, um, there's a blaze canister, a cargo sack, and a gullet. And apparently it's weak to mostly fire, and I don't have any freeze arrows. Okay. But! There aren't really any oh, damn. There aren't really any vantage 
points that I can get to. It would have been nice had those things, the platforms, stayed up in the air. Um, I could have could have used that. But no, they came down to the ground and it, uh... <laughs> not did away with any advantage. The advantage I had there. But without without being able to go up high, I don't really have a whole lot to my advantage. the best I can see. <laughs>
caught on something on the floor. Dude's an asshole. This is a frustrating fight to have it almost 11 o'clock and I'm tired. <laughs> what this thing is vulnerable to. It like completely evaded my traps. And not to mention it, it basically has a um, like a flamethrower on his butt. There's nowhere nowhere to really hide from this thing. I don't I don't quite understand the strategy. I don't quite understand the strategy. Really be nice if, if these things actually stayed in the air. <laughs> but no, they all come down to the floor. Level eight is enough to to take on this thing. That was that, that level eight was the recommended level to to go on this quest, and I am like level twelve something. I think I'm like level twelve. Uh, yeah, level twelve almost level 13 and they thought they thought 8 was appropriate for this um oh that's interesting let's maybe make it a normal yes. level for the moment <laughs> Maybe that's why I've been having such difficulty. I had it on, on hard. Actually, I don't even remember how many settings there are. Let's see. Story, easy, normal, hard, very hard, and ultra hard. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't think that <laughs> it's not going to be distracting at all. Sometimes when I'll get up in the morning, excuse me, and um, if I get up way too fast, I'll get the hiccups for like five minutes. <laughs> uh. 
just so annoying. Especially when they're painful. They're just like guarding the way out. quite down in, in the crevice enough. So like, this may be literally the only, excuse me, the only uh, cover in this entire place. Like, yeah, okay, that actually keeps me relatively safe from from the fire. I just have to actually make it down there. Before, before he blasts me.
like keep it from getting too, too close. understand the change in tactic here. It's trying to draw me out. Because I can't hit it from here. I mean, probably. I mean, that's probably the smart thing to do. Gonna make more to come after me. Oh god. Yeah, fire actually seemed like it did less damage. How much HP did this thing have? Good night. Like, I imagine I'm supposed to be aiming for this gullet thing. That seems to be where the most damage is. and swallows at the same time. Which obviously made a very strange sound. I'm gonna end up using all of my ridge wood and like all of my shards on arrows for this for this boss battle. Maybe 
I did do a little bit better. Okay. trying to make sure that nothing else was coming up to attack me. Yeah, that was a pain. That was a huge pain. Yes, I will take all your materials. Thank you. That was not not really a fun fight. <laughs> Fun fight. Like maybe it's just me, but I feel like my like arrows and stuff should be doing more damage than they actually do. All right, Let's override this core, shall we? Just think it'll let me override some new machines. Information with different machines. This will help me overwrite them. Solid, yes. Cool, that's cool. Oh, cool. Trophy. No big. Oh. Oh, that led like directly to the outside. Okay. Interesting. All right, where is the closest campfire? That's cool. Is there anything else to do on this quest? I don't think so. I think it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was it. I don't know where this... Where this dude's supposed to be. Oh, wait. I was gonna see if I could level up some skills, I think. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to gather some more resources, because I, I used a ton of arrows in there. Let's see, strike from above... Critical hit. Um, let's do torn between strike from above and critical hit plus. Uh, let's do critical hit plus. We'll do we'll do strike from above the next go round. Sounds like a solid plan. Um, I do actually wanna okay, I, well the campfire is on the way to the to the people, to the to the marker, to the quest marker. That's what I was trying to say. What is that? Oh, it's a campfire. Ha! <laughs> it's what I was looking for!
feel like I'm running pretty low on shards since I had to use up a ton of a ton of them to make ammo for that um, for that uh, battle is what I was trying to say. Goodness. Um. No, it's just. I think we're I think we're good on 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 stuff. Actually, wait. Let me save one more time. Alrighty. Um, I do believe I'm going to call it a night here. Um, I am pretty tired. Um, Can't I think we're going to accomplish a lot tonight, though. Killed some sawtooths. Uh, unlocked. Or overrode a cauldron core to find out more about uh, about more machines. Um, there's probably some other stuff I forgot about, but that's cool. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I'm planning to next stream on Saturday at 8:30 Central. So hopefully I'll see see some old folks and maybe some new folks on the stream. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, anyway, hope everyone has a good night. Bye.